All right, here we are at another food photo shoot. One of my very favorite clients I'm with Julia. And, hey, Julia, you're on camera. Oh, hey. <laughs> stop eating. I stop eating our subject matter long enough to tell everybody what we're doing. Well, I see. It looks like you have destroyed those meatballs. Hey, I didn't do that. That was Mr. Taylor. Oh, that was me. All right. Tell everybody what we've got going on here. We have a food photography shoot going on today. Okay, you're and we are in beautiful downtown Rogersville, our hometown today. Working and perks of the job, we'll get to eat too. Absolutely. We'll have a fun. Yep, and we've got our setup here. So we've got our Canon 5D Mark IV, and we've got this. 2470 lens on it, but mostly we're keeping it, you know, down back to between the 50 and 70 millimeter range to give a good perspective as far as aspect ratios on the food. And of course, we've got it tethered over to our laptop, which we've upgraded, where now we can just zoom in at touch and do a lot of just quick edits to see what we're doing. And with our diffuser and our light source, and Julie's keeping good notes over here about what we're doing. And we try to get everything at different stages. Is that pretty much the sum of it, Julia? Pretty much the sum of it. All right. We have sampled all this, yeah? Yes. Yeah, we kind of took a mini break, and then we still have all still of that go left to film. Up. So we're rolling, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Hard at work. Hard, hard yeah, yeah. Hard, hard work. Hard work. Yes. Yeah. So we're having a good time. And what's, what's some of the food we've got here? Of course, we've mixed and matched. Um, these two have been my plates, by the way. <laughs> And Julia's been hitting the wings pretty much. I've been hitting the Asian wings and the um, um, apricot bourbon glazed wings. Mm. Yes. It's good stuff. Yeah. And we got we couldn't even wait on this all this other stuff. We got too hungry. Right. And so and these salads look amazing. I can't wait for y'all to see our pictures. And we always have a lot of questions. The most questions we get about our gear after a shoot is about this overhead light source. And so that is an Adorama brand um, called Flashpoint, and it's a 1200 LED that will go from complete white, cool daylight, all the way down to completely warm, like sunset type light. And then we have this big diffuser. You can see the light coming out is a little bit harsh. And then we've got this big diffuser that just really softens everything down from top of the food and then gives us photos like that. And then we'll set up here and we'll take everything on a side shot and then a lot of stuff we'll take on a straight down shot here in a moment also. And one of the things we didn't prepare for that we're battling is some of the natural light coming through these upper windows reflecting off our table here but we're angling up our food to where it'll be no problem. Okay, now what have we got here, Jules? Let me get my notes. I want to say the right thing. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Chicken Maui. Chicken Maui. Are you still eating? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here. Why don't you take this, and while they might want to watch us take a shot here. All okay. right. So come over here to the back of the camera. Hey, Jesse. Hey Jessica, hey Melissa. So we're going to kind of frame up our shot here. And we've already, as far as reflections go, you can kind of see we're battling some reflection there. But what I'm looking for is for the reflection not to be on the food. Because with Lightroom and Photoshop, our editors will be able to really just zap away that reflection. We're going to be zooming in anyway to really show the food. And so we never want to just run on autofocus in this situation. So we're going to kind of come in. We're going to pick a feature on the front side of the food. We're going to zoom way in here. And we're going to manually get really sharp focus. And the camera is exaggerating the difference in focus here for us. And so now I know it's focused. And I know my particular uh, Camera settings that I want here for here, it's going to be an ISO 100 at a 5.6 aperture. So we just take the picture. That's for all you camera buffs out there. And then with this cord, it's coming straight into Lightroom. 
and we're going to make just some quick little edits here and our coloring we'll have to play with in editing so you can see that's too cool and then over here was too warm so you know we'll kind of get in editing we'll make sure it looks right and then we can zoom in and out that's one of the things we want to make sure is that we've got good focus on our focal point because if that's blurry and it throws off the whole image it doesn't matter there's nothing we can do in editing to fix it so that's kind of it and we'll save this plate to do an overhead and that's because that's like our next staging area and that's it all right so let's take some more pictures and eat some more what do you think